How to test a starter capacitor. Uh, a starter capacitor is used uh, to uh, start motors. It gives a motor a large initial voltage that's required to get it spinning. Uh, if a starter capacitor fails, uh, then when you turn on a motor, uh, you'll just, it'll just sit there humming because it doesn't have enough voltage to, to start up. Um, if you want to test a start capacitor, uh, the easiest way to do it is with a multimeter uh, like I have here. Um, the uh, thing to bear in mind with any capacitor is that it is a uh, potentially dangerous device. Um, they store and release electricity very quickly and uh, if you're not careful you can get a nasty spark uh, or electrocution so always use care when working with capacitors. This is a uh, typical capacitor. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than uh, some of your starter capacitors, but they all function basically the same. Uh, in order to test a capacitor, you want to put your multimeter uh, into resistance mode ohms, uh, and you want to uh, make sure that it's fully de discharged um, by uh, drawing the power off of it. Uh, once it's discharged, you hook up your negative lead to the negative side of the capacitor and your positive lead to the positive side. And what you will see is that the resistance will increase as the capacitor um, slowly takes a charge from the test voltage coming from the meter. If you see this resistance increase, um, then that means that the capacitor is functional. If you see uh, infinite resistance uh, or just a static resistance, uh, even though the capacitor had been fully discharged, then there's a good, a good indicator that that capacitor has a problem and should be replaced.